<laughs> What's up guys? We are back in the kitchen. This week, since Christmas is literally 15 days away, I want to make Christmas cookies because my family has a tradition where my grandma, she's not alive anymore, <laughs> she used to make boxes of cookies every year and she would send them out to all of the like kids and grandkids and stuff. Once she passed away, we decided we would continue to do it because nobody else did. <laughs> We've done it every year. Usually it's a group effort. This year, I have to do it by myself. I have to make like 500 cookies. I don't know how many I'll end up actually making. Making, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flavors that I have to make. And usually we put like Christmas candy and like candy canes and stuff in there to like pack them to make sure the cookies like don't break. That's what I'm going to be doing. I really hope I have enough ingredients because I didn't go shopping before this. Usually we prepare, but I realized like way too late that if I don't do this this week, they're not going to get in time for Christmas. So we're just going to go for it and hope it all goes well. So I have to figure out how many eggs I need first. Some of these I'm gonna be making gluten free and then one batch I'm gonna have to make gluten free and sugar free. So if you hear anything in the background, uh, I have Arthur Christmas playing in the background because the dogs are sitting here with me and they like to watch TV. So I have a Christmas movie playing in the background. So I'm gonna figure out what I need and then I will update you on which cookies I can and can't make. I need 15 total eggs and I have this and I think I have about a dozen to spare. So I need to figure out flour and stuff now. I think I have enough flour and sugar. I don't know about chocolate chips actually. That is something I need to figure out. It's pretty full so I should have enough vanilla. This might be our downfall. This might be our saving grace, but cookie recipes call for a lot of butter. I'm starting to panic now. I'm gonna start by making the doughs that have to be chilled, so that way I can put those in the fridge while I'm making the other ones that don't have to be chilled. And then I'm gonna have to Instacart butter. I have five boxes of butter, so there should be enough. And it should be here by like 3.30, so that in like 15-ish minutes. So let's just make the ones that have to be chilled, and then if I run out of butter, I'll just wait for the delivery. Let's make the ginger ones first, because those call for a Margarine. I don't know which of these are for cookies either. Okay. Ah! Do the old egg yolk shell trick. You know what I'm saying? Baking is a science. Ooh. Ooh. Ryan H just started shopping. Let you know when he comes your way. Like, mess up. Our dough should be fully mixed now, and we can pop her in the fridge. There we go. Do this and this. And fold it over once. And fold it over twice. And this one's done. And go in the fridge. My butter is here. Ryan saved the day. Enough. 
the stove done. I'll make the gluten-free ones now, and then the gluten-free sugar-free ones. I'm gonna start doing this in shorter cuts, because I gotta save camera time. I added all the ingredients in and mixed it together, so I'm gonna add it into this clear bowl so it can firm up to make rollout cookies so I can cut them into shapes and stuff. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge with all the other dough that's chilling and then I just have to make the dough with stevia instead of sugar so it can chill and then I can start making the cookies that don't have to chill anymore. I can start getting those into the oven. <gasps> oh, I literally just caught that in my hand. I'm starting on the sugar-free, gluten-free ones now. I already put the butter in there. I just got a mouthful of sugar. So I'm gonna let this mix and then I will get back with you when I'm putting it into the fridge to chill. I'll show you the dough before. This finished mixing. So we're gonna just put this in here and put a little plastic thing over it and let it chill in the fridge for a little bit. And then I can start making the cookies that don't have to chill. So I can finally get some stuff in the oven. Hallelujah. I'm gonna make peanut butter cookies now. Oh, we're gonna speed run these. Bam. It's been almost three hours since I started this. And we're still going strong. I'm gonna mix this together, get back to you when I'm putting them on the pan. We finished the peanut butter video. Now I just have to put it on the pan and then we just put it in the oven. We're gonna put this here. And if you've never made a peanut butter cookie, you take a fork and you press down one way and then you press down the other way. So it makes like a uh, crisscross pattern on your cookie. Also, I'm watching Cloud9 now. If anybody remembers that Disney Channel movie with Doug Cameron. These are ringing. I think they're done now. We're making snickerdoodles now. Okay, one, two. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, two. So one, two. This is gonna mix, and I will check back in with you what it's done mixing. I pulled the peanut butter cookies off, so they're cooling on a cooling rack. So now they can cool all the way, and I can use the pans for the snickerdoodles instead of having to get more pans out. But I have the cinnamon sugar mix that I have to roll these in before I put them on the pan. up and then I will check in with you when I start making the next batch. Mistake to the made. I had enough batter to fill up three pans so I put the first two in. Since there are like two racks you're supposed to switch them to make sure that they're both like cooked the right way. I set the pan down on the oven door but the door doesn't open all the way so it's out of like a tilt so it started to slide underneath the bottom rack so I grabbed it with my gloved hand. I didn't have a glove on my other hand for some reason and so I went to grab it with my bare hand. Really realized, ow, this is burning me, and let go. So now, I can't feel this part of my thumb, because luckily I only grabbed it with my thumb before I realized what was happening. So, that's where we're at now. Those cookies are about to ring, so I'm gonna bring those out and show you guys what those look like. These still have a little bit to go. Let me grab another mitt so I don't do that again. Look at these bad boys. Everything has been clean. So we're starting on chocolate chip cookies now. I had to melt the butter in this one. I'm gonna separate the egg white from the yolk again. Ooh. Ooh. I'll come back on a pan again. 
The snickerdoodles are on the cooling rack now. So we can start putting the chocolate chip cookie dough on here. It is now almost been five hours. We're almost done with all of these. Then I'm probably gonna take a break to make dinner and then I will roll out the cookie dough that I have to like cut shapes out of and stuff. This is the last one before I do the rollout cookies. Starting with the sugar and the butter again, I need to put the cocoa powder in there too, actually. I found a lot more mini chocolate bars in the freezer. So I cut all those up, and I should have enough now. One, two, three. So now I'm gonna keep mixing this, and then I will check back in with you when the dough is ready to be panned. The dough for the chocolate chocolate is done. and then I'm gonna take a break, eat some food, and then I will start rolling the sugar cookie dough out. So I was going to roll out the sugar cookie dough, and I went to get it, I forgot it's oatmeal raisin cookie dough. I had to put this in the oven before I could do that. I'm gonna finish putting these on the pan and I'll put them in the oven and then I'll show you hopefully when I actually start making the sugar cookies and there's not a different one that was randomly made. We are finally rolling out the cookie dough that needs to be cut up. Oh, why is he looks a little like, like an extraterrestrial. His head is a little lopsided. The movie playing in the background is Edward Scissorhand, and it is 10. It is 10:30. I started this at three. Why does he kind of look like the peanut guy from SCP? flat little circle. Ta-da! I have the sugar cookie dough out. I'm gonna make the candy canes first. I have to add the red dye to it. I'm going to make like a hollow in the middle and then put some food coloring in there. I'm gonna see if those cookies are cool so I can switch over the pans and start putting those cookies on the pans. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll get back with you. Look how cute. <laughs> this is the first time I ever made them. So I'm gonna put these in for eight minutes. We have two more to go and then I'm done. This is the gluten-free one. Finished Edward Scissorhands. Forgot how sad that ending was. I hate that ending. But now that movie's over, I'm watching The Chronicles of Narnia Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. All right, not too bad. I got a little star. <gasps> Look at this. It is midnight now. I started this around three o'clock. So I'm going on nine hours. We're almost done. I can see the finish line now. Huh? 
hopefully I'll be able to fit them all on this pan. Last batch, finally. This one is gluten-free, sugar-free. Mistakes have been made earlier. Major mistakes have been made now. I was gonna leave these in. I turned off the timer and got distracted and forgot to take these out. That doesn't mean they're burnt on the bottom. Yeah, they're not burnt. One eternity later. We are finally done. These did not get as brown as these. These aren't burnt, but they are very tan on the edges. I accidentally broke one of the gluten-free sugar cookies, and so I ate that one. That one tastes so good. Like, it is the best gluten-free cookie I've ever made. So I'm gonna finish stacking these up because they've cooled down, and then I'm gonna cover them up, and then tomorrow I'll frost them. But I have to finish the video here because I have to also edit this video tomorrow so it can be posted on Monday. So I don't think I'll be able to have time to film me frosting and everything because Next week is also my final week of school for Christmas break. So I want to make sure the video is done tomorrow so it can be posted, ready to go, and scheduled tomorrow night. That being said, thank you guys for watching me cook for, it is 1.30 now, so 10 hours. <laughs> thank you for watching me uh, lose my sanity slowly, use up literally every resource we have in this house. We have to go to the store now. But yeah, thanks for watching me. If you haven't yet, make sure to follow me on all social media at Magdalene Rose Official. All of the patrons, thank you so much for supporting me. I know we're planning on doing some type of Christmas watch party. We have a lot of cool stuff planned for Patreon, so if you haven't yet, make sure you go to patreon.com slash Magdalene Rose official. All the current Patreons will be at the end of the video. It'll have a screen with all their names on it, so if you'd like your name to be on there, again, it's patreon.com slash Magdalene Rose official. Make sure to follow this channel, subscribe to it, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below what your favorite Christmas cookie is. Comments help the algorithm, but also I need to figure out if these cookies are the best cookies to be making, or if there's like a more popular cookie to make every year and I'm just missing out on it. So let me know what your favorite cookie is in the comment below. Make sure you're following me on all my social medias and I will see you guys next week with another video. See ya!